I guess many in the business world and several other areas of national development have argued over time that for Nigeria to get it right, the nation must fix its power infrastructure. That the infrastructure appear not at all uh, meeting the demand of its citizens. Well, some had gone further to make analysis going forward that if you uh, take a brief of the analysis here, that some countries like South Africa with a fewer population of about 50 uh, or 55 million or so, uh, pegging at the average here, has uh, used about 50,000 uh, megawatts uh, of power. That's what they consume. Some are saying that what Heathrow Airport alone in London consume is almost 5,000 megawatts compared to what Nigeria as a nation is consuming. Or even sometimes when we have a collapse of the national grid, we just go and dangle uh, below 3,000 uh, megawatts. With almost everyone here becoming a kind of uh, power generating firm of its, its or our own here. Everyone you go around here, you just see uh, people using a uh, generating set to actually generate the power that they consume. The question is, can the nation go on like this? Can the nation be developed like this? Can we be certain, can we be certain that we are on the right path when it comes to the issue of power sector reform and power sector development here? One basic point where uh, critics of your boss and your administration always speak on him is the fact that about 16 billion naira was expended on the power sector with very little or no result. The independent power projects all appear to be more like an illusion, except in few areas where some will blame that on the issue of gas to power pipeline that we are vandalized. But in all this put together, billions of dollars have been spent in Nigeria's quest to have stable power supply. And yet, steady power supply still remains in Mirage. My name is Ikaro Atta. Uh, the program is this morning on ITV, broadcasting uh, from uh, Abuja Broadcast Station at the hilltop of Umpape Hill in the nation's capital city. We will be extrailing the need for Nigeria to look elsewhere to get very viable source of energy supply. For now, Nigeria is looking uh, so much on the issue of uh, uh, power generated from gas, and the main one which we've been looking into before, or which we've depended on over time, is the hydro power supply. Talking about dams like Kanji Shiroro. The project of Mambila, or the Mambila power project, from what some lawmakers are saying, with a slim budget that cannot even take it far, that means that the project may not be coming as soon as we expect to see it. Are we tapping into solar energy? Considering the fact that we have enough sunlight here that can actually go, or are we just saying it? from a different perspective here. Okay, we are now being joined by our guest for this morning, engineer uh, Tomiwa Bayo Ojo. He is an electrical engineer at the Chattered Estate Surveyor and a uh, valuer. When well, he's into some uh, other parts of uh, solar energy here and is very much into that uh, with uh, keen interest in renewable energy and uh, clean energy. Welcome to us. Today. Good morning. Thank very you for having morning. me. You're yes. welcome. Now, yes. let's, let, let's go back and go through some journey, which I think you would have gone through in electrical and uh, power history here. Yes. We're still dangling as a nation. Are we supposed to dangle? Uh, no, we're not. Um, considering the time that we started, okay. um, the... Uh, um, Kanji Dam, if I recall, was uh, built in uh, 1968 with a capacity of about uh, 800 megawatts. Then, like you said, we also had the uh, uh, the, the Jebba and the Shirero, which followed after that. So we've, we've made some uh, giant strides, you know, in in moving the power sector forward. But um, I mean, we're still. Um, where we are for so many reasons. You for know. Any reasons? I mean, issues of um, transmission infrastructure has been a major problem for us in Nigeria. Um, I mean, the efficiency of the grid has not been too good, which has been causing for it to shut down. So it's not even as if, it's not, as if, it's not that we're generating, it's not that we're not generating enough power. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But that that power is not being uh, transmitted efficiently, and that's what crosses this uh, grid uh, shutdowns, you know. So okay, that, but, but, yeah. but if we look at our dependence here, mm. at a certain point, uh, many persons have talked about the need for us to go into uh, 
Tema and Geotema. Some said, look, hey, guys, you're not up to that point yet. So we can even look at atomic energy, if we can even go into that point, like what are some other countries of the world are doing. Some yeah. are saying we shouldn't even go there yet. We've never been able to tackle the issue of the hydro and the uh, conventional uh, gas uh, power uh, electrical system here. Do, do you think we are committed as a people uh -huh. from your own position as an electrical engineer and one who is fast in the power sector of it, even renewable and green and clean energy here, are we really committed when you even look at the issue of the, the, the hydropower as well as the, uh, the, the, the gas plant we are bringing in? Yes, we are. I mean, you, like you, you know that the uh, power sector was privatized, um, where the government divested about 90% of the shares in the uh, generating area. Then um, they own 40% of the shares in the um, distribution and the transmission company is wholly owned by the government. So what they've been doing is basically trying to fix that transfer infrastructure with uh, projects like the uh, Siemens project that we've all heard about, which they aim to uh, increase transmission capacity to um, uh, about 25,000 uh, megawatts by 2025. You know, that's going to take, I mean, it's a goal that has been set, and I hope that it can be achieved because it will go a long way in, a, in a feeding um, power to the necessary areas. I mean, power affects, cuts across um, different facets of life, you know, from, I mean, it reduces uh, the efficiency of people. We've been, it's been said that we lose about $26 million um, in productivity you know, in Nigeria due to um, um, lack of, um, I mean, constant electricity, you know. So um, we, I mean, with all, all these new things that are coming up, I mean, and also there have been ways to um, help the distribution company grow. You heard about the uh, $500 million that the World Bank is um, partnering with Nigeria to, to facilitate and to um, help the discos uh, perform better. It, it's going to be based on their performance and, and how things are run, as, as, I, I mean, as I know, for the funds to be disbursed. But this will go a long way in also helping uh, discos um, uh, fix um, issues of meter deficit. We have a huge meter deficit in Nigeria. Um, electricity is not properly metered because a lot of people don't have meters. So, and a lot of people are starting manufacturing meters in Nigeria, which is good. You know, for for instance, in Abuja recently, there have been upgrades of meters. More households are getting meters. You know, but also we have to um, get uh, consumers to be willing to pay for electricity. You know, and the thing is that you can't you can't force someone to pay for something they don't get. Do you get what I'm saying? So we have to create uh, incentives for them to to. Like, to like, what, like what incentives do we create here? I mean, yeah. I'm saying that the meters should be free. The meters have not yet been so free as expected. Yeah, I mean, there there are different incentives for electricity. You can tie it to to something that look. Um, I mean. In, in other countries, you know, they they give people certain tax rebates for doing certain things, you know. Um, but in in, in in Nigeria, Nigeria is a is a peculiar case, you know. Um, I feel that we can adopt um, solutions that have worked in um, different um, African countries. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, for instance, if you if you if you, uh, I mean, if you pay your bill, you can get a reduction on certain uh, public amenities. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? So, no, but, yeah. but, but let's come back now to some of the worries we have because when people watch what uh, goes on here, the fundamental question is uh, somehow, uh, with my few times I have traveled to some uh, West African neighbors, particularly yes. the Francophone countries, yes. our power don't even blink. Mm. I'm sorry, I had a few, a few times to stay around uh, Abidjan, Yamoussoukro, and some other countries. It's just funny, it's almost just steady. When you come here, we still keep shouting up Nepal. We did that way back in the late 70s, and we're doing that now. Yes, but you need to we know need to that. that. <laughs> you need, <laughs> was really you need to, that. You, yes, but you, think, you need to know uh, Nigeria is a, is, is a much bigger country than these countries, and that means we have bigger problems than they do. You know, we we'll still even, even if it is bigger, mm. I'm not sure that sometimes. You just, you just sit down and you just start to wonder, hey guys, it's not blinking here. Yes, because, I mean, some of them, the 
capacity of electricity that they need is relatively small compared to what we have. And because of the land mass, they don't have as much area to cover as Nigeria. You know, about uh, 43, I think, a huge, a huge amount of Nigerians still don't have access to electricity, especially in the rural areas. Do you get what I'm saying? So, I mean, the rural areas typically have uh, three options. It's either grid extension, uh, solar mini grids, or um, solar home systems, depending on the capacity of electricity that they need in those areas. So, uh, for some times, they the, the grid, they want to extend the grid to certain areas, but it might not be viable which is why we should look at other alternatives, you know, to power those um, um, areas. Yes. Okay, now, I, I, I come in now. Let's look at, the, the, before we come to touching the point of uh, renew, renewable energy, solar energy, and also uh, ask question why government should be borrowing to actually stimulate the power sector now. All these billions we've spent before mm. of dollars, have they yielded the result? If yes. you're a businessman, I think like a businessman, mm. will you put those billions and get little result? No, but they. they, they I know you are a businessman. Yes, but they have yielded results to some extent. If if there was no result, we would not have light in this studio right now. But before 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 they even came, most of the infrastructure was on the ground. Yes, but another huge issue when it comes to infrastructure is proper maintenance. You know, long term maintenance, and I always say that when some of these infrastructures are being built, the maintenance has to be factored in at the beginning. It's almost as important as constructing the infrastructure. You might as well not construct infrastructure if you know that you're not going to have proper maintenance. These monies need to be earmarked from the beginning and say that, look, we're committing so and so to this, to maintain this for this. We need to know the periods. We need to know the lifespan of the equipment, you know, what is going to happen to them, how are we dealing with continuity, do you get what I'm saying? Really? So yeah, so that's um, maintenance is is key. But even if we, even if we maintain now, the other the, the, the other question here, mm. uh, what about planning, long term planning when it comes to uh, power generation and distribution? Because on what you mentioned now, we are generating much, but we can't transmit much. Yes. Why do we not create a balance between transmission and generation? Why do we focus on generating when we know we can't transmit, and what is generated sometimes is a waste. Yeah, but you see, the, the privatization of the of the generation is what uh, brought about the um, increase in generation. And, and, there, and, and there's no corresponding work when it comes to transmission. Yes, exactly. That yes, means you so now generate, you now, you now go to the farm, uh, cultivate all what you need, exactly. or more than, and there's no road to take exactly to the Exactly, for the crops to, to, get, to, get to, to, the yeah, to, the, to the village and to the market. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So, so it, it's, it, I mean, we, we business people have seen it that, look, generation is viable, do you get what I'm saying, if it is properly done, but it's to offload it now that is the, that is the problem. I mean, would you not plan well? I, I wouldn't. I would <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be very careful. Go ahead. No, okay. no, no. I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say we did not plan well, but uh, mishaps happen, yeah. you know. And uh, I think that we're on the right path to rectifying them. Yeah. So that's what it is. Okay, now let's look at other sources of power. Yes. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, from my own point of view, I know we're using gas. We're using hydro. Yes. I don't know why we're using a coal at the moment here, yeah. but I know maybe we're not using coal, if I'm right. Ah, but well, we're not. We're, I mean, it's in the works. So what we coal. mainly use now is fossil fuels, okay. which is uh, gas, gas and hydro, uh, and hydro. hydro. yes. yes. But, 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 but when you go around the globe, you find out that uh, renewable energy, like uh, uh, wind energy, mm. like uh, solar energy, have taken yes. over the world. Yes, they have. Why are yes. we dangling behind? Must we just wait behind? No, uh, we're not. We're not waiting behind the the, the issue with uh, solar, for instance, is the is the capital outlay, especially for the private sector person. If you look at it, the in Nigeria, the the, the biggest uh, mini grids and solar power plants have been constructed by government. I mean, the issues uh, with the private sector person taking up a solar power plant that is. Vi I mean, for you to do a solar power plant as a private person. Uh, you need a power purchase agreement for, from, the, from the government. Do you get what I'm saying? And structuring these yeah. deals has been um, a bone of contention. Why? Do you get what I'm saying? Because the, 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 you, need to, you need to have an agreeable tariff that is viable for you, the investor, and it's not too expensive for the uh, government to pay. You know, and the PPAs are structured in a way where 
you, you is either you have i mean for if you're generating you need to have an off taker for it do you get yeah. what i'm saying so yeah so i think i think you should send that to the disco let's go to the transmission company pardon if you're generating true solar who, yes who, 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 who pick up the power of the generation uh well if you if you generate you can either generate into the grid or you generate as um, an, an IPP, an independent Good. power producer. Fine. Do you get what I'm saying? That's so, uh, like I said, the grid one, you need uh, a certain tariff. But if you generate as an independent power, you can go to a certain area and say, look, um, I want to give power to these people and find an agreeable tariff with them and, and work things out. But for this is usually on a small scale. For it to really be big, mm -hmm. you know, you would need to, you need to collaborate with the government and this and collaborating with government from your point of view is so difficult uh yes and no as a sign MOU, you have to know somebody yeah. who knows somebody you have to push some files yeah what well, MOU some M M M MOUs are the thing because you go you go back and forth like any other country in the world you need to everybody it needs to be uh Everyone needs to be happy, so okay. to say, at the end of the day. The, the businessman has to look at it, that, okay, I'll recoup my money in so and so years. The government has to look at it, that, okay, we're not getting ripped off, you know, by these people. So that's the, that's the issue. Now, what if you meet somebody who doesn't like your face and you want, mm -hmm. to, be, you want to invest in uh, solar energy, maybe uh, connect it to the national grid? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not possible at all. Has, I mean, they, they, ha has anyone done it before? connect to the national grid uh, well right no right now what we have the one of the biggest solar power plants we have is the one that was 7.1 uh, megawatt that was constructed in uh in a by by Aero university so there are projects in the pipeline where they want to do solar on a large scale that would be connected to the grid but it hasn't uh, fully been done yet. What about the, okay, now let's look at the, the smaller ones. If you're driving yes. past uh, the Mabuchi interchange in Abuja, mm, mm. and you are going to Escado, and you look to the Ministry of Works, yes. you just find a full flesh solar car park. Yes, an array of, yeah, uh, of solar. Uh, uh, yeah. And I ask them sometimes, are those things working? That's mm. a question. I try to go into probe. I've not been able to have chance to actually probe deep here. But we just see an array of solar, solar. I, I don't know why I said oh. I, I, I just thought it was some car park, but I had to discover it was just a solar car park here. Oh. Can that one fire the ministry? Yes, it can. It should. I, I haven't. I mean, I don't know about that project in particular. But, but you just see the, the yeah uh, from the arrays that I see, it can it can power um, a few um, uh, quite a number of floors. I mean, if um, properly designed. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, um, so, so I mean, solar. Uh, I mean, the, the the one of the biggest markets now in for solar in Nigeria is the is the um, is is for homes. Do you get what I'm saying? Where, where we have um, small inverters and uh, batteries that uh, people use to generate electricity for themselves. You know, and they install this. Um, these systems so uh, uh, another another thing is that the reason why people gravitate towards solar in nigeria is not because um it is cheaper it is because of the lack of electricity but in other countries is not because of the absence of the grid that they gravitate towards solar they gravitate towards solar because they're like okay it might be cheaper than the grid i can make some savings during the day do you get what i'm saying so and and it, and, it, and another thing that is that is very different from a typical home in nigeria using solar compared to uh, uh abroad is that we use a lot of batteries and these batteries make solar really expensive okay this is over this is over 50 percent of the cost of the installation oh. yeah so abroad now for instance they use just the panels and the inverter they don't use batteries so this reduces the cost significantly why, why different from here why don't why don't they use batteries? okay so this is it think about it as a straight line that you're trying to bridge Good. okay the grid is a straight line okay if this line uh is constant do you get what i'm saying what you're trying to do is to reduce um, how much you're paying. So you're looking at, you're trying to, so we have something called uh, bi-directional meters um, in all this, in, in this other countries that I'm talking about. So what, what that aims to do is that when the solar panels are installed, when there's sun, okay, these bi-directional meters read backwards 
So at that time when there's electricity generated from the sun, okay, it is reducing uh, your consumption from the grid, which reduces your bill. Do you get what I'm saying? But, it, that, so, but that means that you have grid 24 hours. So it means that at night, um, I mean, the grid takes over fully. I mean, there's no sun again. So, but in Nigeria, if the, during the day, the grid is not constant. So you're constantly having electricity and not having electricity. So for you to bridge that gap of not having, you need to store the power. And that storage, uh, battery technology still has a long way to go. Time, it it, the, the batteries sometimes uh, have their own lifespan and they die. Yes. And when they die, uh, the people with the solar panel, you just discover a neighbor of yours who mm. appeared to be having your 247 light. Mm. Starts to, it starts to hear generating set from his company. Yes, yes. The, ba the batteries so, back up. Yes, just like anything. And they're expensive. Yes, they're expensive. I, I, I'll, I'll explain why uh, the lifespan of batteries. Um, I mean, is 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 Point. low. It, yeah, it's it's low in in certain cases. Okay. Sometimes when these inverters are sized, they're not. Um, when these um, solar systems are sized, they're not probably they're not properly. I mean, they're not properly sized, or they are misused by the consumer. I mean, for instance, you say now that oh, okay, I want um, a situation. I want. I mean, I want solar in my house. Do you get what I'm saying? And. Uh, an engineer has come to do an assessment and said, okay, you need a 3.5 kVA inverter with four batteries. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, you do that. You install that based on the energy audit that you've done. You know that, okay, this will power so and so. If you stick to that, the batteries will last longer. You, I mean, like a car, you can't use a car forever. Do you right. get what I'm saying? So the batteries will last longer if it is properly sized and properly used. But the thing now is that you already said that kind of, you said that, then you now um, come and, and start uh, a pure water factory and add, um, so, and add a lot of load. Do you get what I'm saying? To, um, to the inverter that the inverter can't handle. So this keeps draining the batteries every time. And it would definitely uh, reduce the lifespan significantly. So that, that's, that's, that's usually the case but, with the... But, but, but mm. for, for this one now, is it possible for us to make it cheaper when it comes to the issue of uh, the solar energy? Can mm. we make it cheaper? Yes, we can make it because cheaper. Because it, it seems to be something like... Uh, something that's elitist in nature for now. Yes. Only the big guys have them. Yes. And we, the masses, don't. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, uh, yeah. Uh, my uh, correct idea. Yeah. Sometimes you just see some big guys. But the thing but is, when you, when, when you drive around some counties, you yeah. find solar everywhere. Yes. The, the reason why a lot of people, even this, uh, this, the so called big people that you're that you're referring to do you get what i'm saying the reason why even some of them have the money but they don't want to buy into it and the reason why is financing they compare with the cost of a generator the initial cost of a generator but they don't look at the long-term um cost and and this is typical with 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 uh, human beings in general you would rather spend less now and find a way to patch it you know as you go forward so what we need to do is that we need to provide uh well in collaboration with government we need to provide long-term financing for uh, solar in nigeria so for instance you have a solar system that um would cost uh 500,000 naira. i'm just saying hypothetically you know uh, and you look at it, oh, okay, you can buy a generator for a, for a smaller amount, thing, but you still need to buy petrol for a long time. You still need to maintain it. You need to change the oil. But you will not see, you just, you just yeah, exactly, and the smoke and the pollution. So you see the, you see the, gener you, you see the generator looking brand new, coming out of nylon. There's somebody telling you that you should come and pay uh, 500,000, bam, like that, immediately. I mean, the solution to that is to provide uh, low interest, um, long term financing for, for, for solar. Do you know, it would go a long way. Uh, no, 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 let's look mm. at government uh, borrowing mm. uh, to actually boost the sector, uh, borrowing more to stabilize the power sector, yes. and also getting more from uh, uh, some parts. Here. Would, would that make sense to borrow? Because we've been borrowing, and the more we borrow, the more Nigerians are saying that they don't see power. I will mm. not see power for years. Yes. And despite the technicalities they talk about around power, that uh, we, we, we're injecting more funds. 
that what someone touched somebody is that one who's one, one who just see the light mm. want to see the studio like this very bright yeah. want to see our house is very bright yes. want to see where we just come to the, the, the where we are and we just we just see power mm. why is it that when government borrow when government puts in fund it doesn't correspond and it's are taking decades yeah but the thing is that it's like um because i know when we're growing up mm. it still remains the same to this day even mm. if it's even getting a little bit worse those days when we have maybe somebody say we have lesser population lesser consumption but the more we go the the darker it becomes yeah but i feel i feel that uh it takes time for people to see the change yeah. do you get what i'm saying to see um just to see for 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 the um investments to be to be reflected you know as um I mean, as professionals, you would, I mean, you know that this thing t these things take time. Even when you infuse um, cash into a certain project, it takes, it's in different phases. Do you get what I'm saying? So even the, the, the recent um, 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 strides that have been made, like, I, like we discussed earlier, like the 500 million um, and the Siemens uh, deal, um, they, they are being managed better. You know, as how, yeah. how, how do you know about how do you know about manage better? How do you know mm. manage better? Well, based on the information, because the one we have seen before, mm. or oh, have the IPPIS, they say, oh, it's been managed better. Mm. We pass through it and we discover that it's just a press conference statement. Well, as a technical person, you know, when I look at this, uh, some of this, uh, the well, the information that is available to the mm. public, I feel that um, there have been. There have been some improvement in the way um, these things are being handled. You know. Okay, if, 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 if we turn it a little bit uh, forward now, and we look at it now, the, mm. your projection. What about, what about wind energy? Yes, wind, wind are we, energy. Are we going there? Yes, we are going there. Yeah, because yes. does, when you when when you look at Canada and some parts of the US, mm. just find this big, beautiful wind field. Yes. Everything is just rotating. Yes. And power is just coming out, and yes. we got enough wind here. Mm. But are we are we going there? Well, we are going there. People are using uh, wind turbines in, in certain areas. But the thing is, solar has just been uh, more popular in this part of the world. Because we've got sunlight. You know, yeah, exactly. Because we've got sunlight. And we've got sunlight for a very long period of time. If you go to uh, colder regions where they don't have sunlight, yes, they would most likely... Uh, use wind then they or they use um tidal energy from the waves from the ocean so they they use they look at the alternatives in their own um area you know but in nigeria we have abundance of of sunlight so it's a no-brainer we're not even tapping it somebody said we're not even tapped one percent yes yes we haven't Tap even so just one percent we haven't we haven't but but the reason why we haven't uh, uh tapped it is this um, transmission and distribution that needs to be what, properly what, sorted out. What about the local ones in our homes? We don't mm. we don't tap at all. Because if you go if you go around like what I said before, uh, some other parts you just discovered, you just find almost every home uh -huh. is solar connected. That's the first thing that picks your attention from the roof. You see the you see the solar panel. Yes. But in our case here, in yeah. The but there, there's there's been there's been there's been there's been support and incentives for people to to buy into solar in this country. Why are they not buying it? You know, because it's cheaper and you can Why pay are they not over. Buying it? Why well, are they not buying it? Because it's expensive. It's expensive for the average consumer to 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 pay for um, 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 solar energy because mostly because of the uh, cost of the batteries. You know, so. Okay, if the battery yeah. remains costs costly, yeah. that means we just need to uh, push through. But quickly, no, but it's gonna, it's gonna. The prices of the pricing of the battery is going to reduce because there's new battery technologies coming up. There's lithium batteries, you know, that last longer and are getting cheaper. So there's there's hope in the horizon. Okay, you know. now now we yeah. have to live on hope. That's why we enjoy the darkness. <laughs> That's the truth. We have to live on hope for now. Yeah. Well, we enjoy darkness here and all of that here. But uh, quickly before we go, let's look at uh, a broader picture of our power sector here. Uh, yeah. Many people are saying that we're not getting it correctly at all, that we are missing out in infrastructure, road infrastructure, fire infrastructure, health infrastructure, uh, general infrastructure here. Mm -hmm. But we're look today we're looking at the power infrastructure where you're very vast here. Are we making progress? in the proportion we should be going at our arithmetic or geometry? Yes, we are making progress.
Okay. Progress, will, progress, how far is the progress? Because the man who watches you out there mm. uh, knows that you're a private sector person, would have, would have thought you're a government person, but you, you appear very optimistic about the mm. system here, that if we make progress, why are we still in this state? We are we still run on jail? And run most times on generation set, even across the world. Even somebody even said the power ministry by Transcorp Hilton run on, runs on jail. No, in the like since since you know we were talking and we said we've, we, we, I think we both agree yeah. that solar is an alternative, you know. So and we're not tapping at that alternative. Yes, exactly. But so what we I feel what we need to do now is 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 focus more on financing, uh, reducing the tariffs on some of the uh, equipment that is used but, 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 and, and manufacturing locally as well. The, the, the loan the government takes ought to go to people like you and others who are in the sector. Does it get down? Or is it some big boys who hang it up, who just get it somewhere? I mean, the, re the one that we was discussed recently is, is based, is mainly for the distribution Which companies, company. you know, yeah, and it, the, yeah. Even as a distributor, what about people like you are into, who are into the system? Mm. How, how, how do government come in? Yeah, government has helped in the area of the um, uh, rural education agency. Okay. They, they've, they've significantly helped people they also help uh, in the privacy. Because sometimes you just put a good uh, solar panel, it mm. runs through for one, two years, the community will be shining at night. Yeah. And the next thing, you start to see the community getting dark, the third, fourth, fifth, yeah, I've seen yeah. that before. Yes, uh, yes, uh, with the solar street lights yeah. and things like that. Yeah, it's, it's just that we need to, I feel that like an area that we need to improve on is uh is is in the area of uh, maintenance and checking you know and making sure because like i mean some equipment they, they they work better in the dry season some equipment i mean perform not so good in the rainy season all this needs to be taken into consideration you know when it comes to uh, maintenance okay thank you thank yes. you very 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 thank much thank you very much uh, thank you as for someone with so much uh, optimism when it comes to the power sector. <laughs> Thank most you for having me. When we talk to people, they just keep, uh, you know, just, just, just come this hard on government for not giving us power. But even from an insider perspective here, yeah. you're saying that we're we are on the right track. Yes. Uh, just that I think we may need to go a little bit faster. Yes. Yeah, agree. Okay. Thank yes, you very much. Okay, engineer uh, Tomiwa uh, Bayo Ojo, uh, electrical engineer and the chartered uh, estate surveyor and uh, value. He's uh, the CEO of uh, Volsus Energy Limited. A, power energetic company with uh, akin focus on solar and other renewable energy and he is very confident and very optimistic that we are on the right path going forward if we sustain what we are doing he's saying that government should focus more attention on transmission because we're generating enough and we need to transmit so much but he's confident that the same agreement the federal government uh, is pushing through from the president to the power sector if that works and every other one work we'll be sure that we'll have steady power supply thank you very much thank you very much, very much. it's a pleasure okay. Thank you very thank much. We'll you. take a break quickly. When we return back from the break, it will be time for us to look at our contribution and our roles as stakeholders in the Nigerian project. What should we be doing to engender peaceful coexistence at a time when we have intense insecurity? The challenges are very enormous here. We have the issue of kidnapping in some parts of the country. The armed banditry is in the northwestern part of the country. The Boko Haram insurgency is not yet over in the northeast. Occultism, kidnapping, uh, several other uh, in the southeast and the south south part are also very worrisome. So across the country, there's the need for us to actually work towards peace and national security. What should everyone be doing after this break? <laughs> 